Yo, everyone, and welcome back to Princess to Be. Um, so, uh, yes, read more. So, I don't remember what was happening last time. I had to take yet another break after the previous videos that I filmed. Um, I'll catch on. Oh, no, that's right. It took that turn. Um, it took a turn where it was like, crush the... Can I close this ad? Um... Oh, that's right. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, so they just visited the slums and uh, Luca revealed his disdain for the people who made the slums the way they were. Um, by the way, the lily, the girl down the bottom left is uh, is, act is acting, is uh, filling in for a princess that ran away with a slave. Uh, she's been, she's got a fiance and things, but you'll meet him in a second. If this is your first video. <laughs> uh, and then this, she just told this guy, who's never forgotten until I see it again, that, hey, yo, did you hear about the slums? I'm sorry. However, I can give, no, I cannot give any answers about that matter. <laughs> if I can state one thing. Right now, Aquaria is no means in a state of feeling safe. We never feel safe. <laughs> it's actually really horrible. <laughs> especially the slums. I figured they probably didn't feel especially safe in the slums. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I kind of feel like, you know, you're not feeling massively safe in the slums. But to me, I do think it's very important. Of course, as you say. I am also aware that the children of many other people are living in the slums. I mean, at least he's aware of it. <laughs> However, I am the only one who works for the king. Nathan asserted... That's right, his name is Nathan. Nathan asserted clearly as if he was crushing, pushing something to its death. As if he was crushing, pushing something to its death. Okay, I get it. Someone who serves the king? That's what I said. As you someone who serves this country. What was his voice again? I cannot go against the king. Nathan. That's why I will now turn you in for even bringing up those nasty, dirty people. I will always continue searching for the path that will make this country better. I would like you to remember that. <laughs> then let's go. Luca is waiting. In order to change the atmosphere of the room, I made it kind of... I made it kind of awkward by bringing up poor people. <laughs> In order to change the atmosphere of the room, Nathan stopped the conversation there. As my head continued to swirl with mixed thoughts, I left the room and went to Luca. Together with Luca, I headed towards the banquet hall. Many aristocrats... Why did I say, try to say cats? Many aristocrats had gathered in the place. Wow, everyone is so beautiful. It's fun to imagine. <laughs> what should I do? I wonder if everyone is equal to me. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm a little embarrassed. I always thought parties were, wor were a world without any greenery. <laughs> so this is your first party then? Don't drink anything that Paul gives you. He's known to... S <coughs> He's known to, like, slip quickies into your fucking drink or whatever. Don't, don't accept anything from Paul. <coughs> There's no need to worry, because I'm here next to you. God, I love him so much. Oh, my God. Continue. Read more. Loden. L yes. I was about to say loading again. <coughs> There's no need to worry because I'm here next to you. Sure. I feel so much safer now. Luca took my hand and embraced me gently. That's right. Luke is here with me. So I'll be all right. I have like fallen in love with this series. <laughs> 
I was so unsure, like, I was so, like, unsure near the beginning, man. It's just, this shit has grown the fuck on me. That's right, Luke is here with me, so I'll be all right. <laughs> What's more, today's lily is very v- beautiful. Have more confidence in yourself. Really? <laughs> yes! You look different than usual, so I got a little nervous. Luca? Thank you. I was genuinely happy that Luca had praised me. <laughs> but I'd rather not show anyone else your back. Huh? My back? It's quite bold. Just then I noticed that the dress had a large opening in the back. <gasps> what should I what I do? The back was this... What should I do? The back was this made like that. The back was this made like that. Why was the back made like that? I'm guessing. I was looking at the front the entire time that I never noticed. <laughs> you never noticed? Yes. What should I do? This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's all right. You have beautiful skin. L- Luca? God, just fuck already, man. <laughs> I w- love you guys so much. <laughs> Sorry, but you really are pretty. Sure. Oh my gosh. Luke, huh? Hey? I'm proud to have such a beautiful fiance. That's why you, having you next to me is enough. I can feel. I could feel the vibration of my heart beating from the back of my chest after hearing those unexpected words. His fiance? This is just now occurring to me. I don't want to get married. Even though I'm not Princess Kaylee. I gently looked up at Luca's face. I wonder if he said that in order to give me confidence. Even if that's the case, if Luca says it, I can't help but also think of it that way. I then understood why the nervousness inside me had me subdued. Yo, why why the nervousness got us subdued, though? Don't leave me on a cliffhanger like that. Read more. Fucking read more. I have to read more. <coughs> oh, what was his voice again? Good evening, Princess Kaylee. Oh, certainly this person is. The person who had appeared in front of me was Prince Dennis of Kiesenau. Thank you for coming today. Prin- Prince Dennis placed his hand on his chest and bowed. Good evening, Prince Dennis. You also appear well, Sir Luca. (laughs) Thank you very much, Prince Dennis. Princess, today will be all the more delicious. Hey, uh, okay. I mean, what? Just, what? Delicious? Uh, uh, Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm jealous of Luke having such a wonderful fiancé. I feel honoured. Sorry, wrong voice. (laughs) I feel honoured for you to say that. I shall see you later. Yes, please enjoy as well, Dennis. Was that fucking hell? I'm doing a horrible job. (laughs) Thank you for your consideration. And with a soft smile, Prince Dennis took his leave. (laughs) What's wrong? That's because your choice of words is different from usual. Well, yeah, even from here you can tell they're an aristocrat. You have to be like that. Like what? That's because leaving an impression is important. Then Luca said something in a low voice. In order to deceive, you must first become their ally. That's right, he's going to take down the aristocrats. Dude, this guy. Dude, I love him. Did you say something, Luca? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go then. Luca and I then enter, then entered the banquet hall. Then enter the banquet hall. I guess it kind of makes sense both ways. But whatever. <coughs> we'll find out what happens next time in the banquet hall. But what happens in the banquet hall next time? Smash subscribe and watch all my videos.